In this section, we'll explain what file path traversal is, describe how to carry out path traversal attacks and circumvent common obstacles, and spell out how to prevent path traversal vulnerabilities. File path traversal, also known as directory traversal, is a web security vulnerability that allows an attacker to read arbitrary files on the server that is running an application. This might include application code and data, credentials for backend systems, and sensitive operating system files. In some cases, an attacker might be able to write to arbitrary files on the server, allowing them to modify application data or behavior, and ultimately take full control of the server. Consider a shopping application that displays images of items for sale. Images are loaded via some HTML, like this. The load image URL takes a file name parameter and returns the contents of the specified file. The image files themselves are stored on a disk in this location. To return an image, the application appends the requested file name to the base directory and uses a file system API to read the contents of the file. So, for this request, the application reads from this file path. The application implements no defenses against file path traversal attacks, so an attacker can request this URL to retrieve an arbitrary file from the server's file systems. This causes the application to read from this file path. The sequence dot dot slash is valid within a file path and means to step up one level in the directory structure. The three consecutive dot dot slash sequences step up to the file system root, so this is the file that is actually read. On Unix-based operating systems, the password file is a standard file containing details of the users that are registered on the server. On Windows, both forward slashes and backslashes are valid in file paths, so an equivalent attack to retrieve a standard operating system file on Windows would be this. Many applications that place user input into file paths implement some kind of defense against path traversal attacks, and these can often be circumvented. If an application strips or blocks directory traversal sequences from the user-supplied file name, then a range of bypasses might be possible. You might be able to use an absolute path from the file system root to directly reference a file without using any traversal sequences. You might be able to use nested traversal sequences, which will revert to simple traversal sequences when the inner sequence is stripped. You might be able to use various non-standard encodings to bypass the input filter. If an application requires that the user supplied file name must start with the expected base folder, then it might be possible to include the required base folder followed by suitable traversal sequences. If an application requires that the user supplied file name must end with an expected file extension, then it might be possible to use a null byte to effectively terminate the file path before the required extension. The most effective way to prevent file path traversal vulnerabilities is to avoid passing user-supplied input to file system APIs altogether. Many application functions that do this can be rewritten to deliver the same behavior in a safer way. If it is considered unavoidable to pass user-supplied input to the file system APIs, then two layers of defense should be used together to prevent attacks. Firstly, the application should validate the user input before processing it. Ideally, the validation should compare against a whitelist of permitted values. If that isn't possible for the required functionality, then the validation should verify that the input contains only permitted content, such as purely alphanumeric characters. The second defense is that, after validating the supplied input, the application should append the input to the base directory and use a platform file system API to conicalize the path. It should verify that the conicalized path starts with the expected base directory. Here is an example of some simple Java code to validate the canonical path of a file based on user input.